At least four people were shot dead and 13 were wounded as overnight the battle for Tahrir Square in central Cairo took on an increasingly violent turn. Pro-Hosni Mubarak supporters are said to have opened fire on anti-government protesters. Egypt's army has now begun deploying tanks in among the protesters. The nighttime deaths add to those killed yesterday, underlying just how dangerous the demand for democracy has become. Many see the increase in violence as an attempted government-backed crackdown on the pro-democracy demonstrations. Mubarak promised on Tuesday to surrender power in September to try to defuse the unprecedented challenge to his 30-year rule, but his refusal to go immediately angered protesters. Hours later, the army told the reformers to go back home as Mubarak backers throwing petrol bombs and wielding sticks gathered on the outskirts of the central square and tried to gain entry. Now the government is calling for an end to the protest before talks over constitutional change can begin, but the activists are refusing, building up to Friday's planned march on the presidential palace.